Oregon, an outdoor paradise where man and nature live side by side. We have a large buck who has caught his antler in our hammock and he's leaping around. The hammock had been strung between this tree over here and this tree over here. The terrified creature is a three-year-old mule deer. The males, or bucks, grow a new set of antlers every year. In the fall, they'll use them to assert their dominance over other males to find mates. But this time, the deer's best defense becomes its worst enemy. The deer was probably feeding, had its head down, and it walked into the hammock. But the officers are wary of tackling 175 pounds of cornered buck themselves. It's 8352. Oregon Fish and Wildlife Officers Corey Heath and David Warner soon arrive. Corey's seen this before. What we have here is two mature mule deer bucks that, that became entangled together. The webbing got wrapped around uh, the other buck's antlers. Both of these bucks were found dead. They don't want this deer to die, but rule out tranquilizing him. We decided that we would not dart the deer because darting tends to be hard on their metabolism and they can put them in stress just because of the drugs. Jason and Canyon are pretty sure they can cut the hammock off. The problem is, how can they get close enough to the deer now that he's effectively tethered to the tree? At this point, this deer is dangerous. He has six to eight feet of range. He can run around. He poses a threat to us. These animals are very strong. They can do severe damage to a human if they get in a good kick. Then it dawns on them. There's a very simple way to shorten that eight-foot leash. Our goal was to chase the deer around the, the uh, tree until he pinned himself to shorten his leash. They move in. Keep going. We both chased him the same direction around the tree, and he said, Davey, grab him on the left side. I'll get him on the right. He was strong. He was fighting us the whole time. I got kicked by the back legs. Jason and Canyon move in with their knives. The hammock consisted of heavy-duty rope. It didn't cut very easily. It's hard work because the deer's antlers are well and truly stuck. The antlers are so angular that once the points enter the holes of the hammock, they get trapped. Then when the deer struggles to get free, the rope mesh gets tied in knots around them, making it impossible for the deer to escape. And with the deer thrashing around wildly, the men are in grave danger. If this deer lunges the wrong way, there's a pretty sharp knife very close to my left hand. The four-man team's perseverance pays off. One more cut and the noose is off. But releasing him's dangerous too. You need to get out of the way pretty quickly. I'd like to give the animal a little push to get him away from me. It's a maneuver Corey's used before. A push in the right direction, and the buck is headed away from man and back into nature's arms. The fact that he was freed and able to go about the rest of his life was rewarding. It felt good. Good job, guys. Good job, guys.